Monday marked the conclusion of Operation Broken Fang. Now that CSGO fans were expecting. What they were not expecting was that finally, after eons of clamoring, Valve listened to the community and made a change to the active duty map pool, putting Ancient. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's not Anubis, but you know, that's, that's fine. The point is that they finally took out, wait, that's not Mirage. Okay, so you know the drill. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and please make sure to turn on notifications so that when Valve does inevitably take Mirage out of the map pool and I make a video peace signing beside its grave, you get to catch it as soon as it goes live. Okay, so let's dive straight into it. Broken Fang is over, Valve pushed a small update as a result, and there's a lot of stuff to talk about. First off, the case. It's fine. As expected, the Broken Fang set of gloves is now available outside of the operation, so I can keep trying my luck for those Tiger Strike specialists and Blood Clot Motos. In terms of the skins themselves, I don't like to openly criticize cosmetics because the workshop artists actually work really hard on making them and literally make a living based on their success, so I'll refrain from talking about the ones I don't like. It just always makes me feel bad. What I will say is that the low ends are actually some of the most exciting we've seen in a long time. The clear polymer Glock is extremely clean. The Slate AK is actually goaded in terms of crafts, and I have been waiting ages for that button masher MAC-10. Valve also decided to take their newly introduced statistics hub to its logical conclusion and turn it into a monthly subscription type deal. It's called CSGO 360 Stats, and for 99 cents a month American, you can get access to match stats from the competitive, premier, and wingman game modes, as well as the round win chance report that was first included in Broken Fang. It's pretty much a paid version of Leadify that, in all probability, isn't as good. That said, it's Valve published and very cheap. So all in all, a harmless thing to at least try out for a dollar a month. And if it's anything like Dota Plus, it'll receive constant updates, the care and attention of the developers for years to come, and will totally end up being a worthwhile investment. <laughs> I can't, dude. I just can't. Now, on to the thing you've all been waiting for. The shit that matters. The chickens. They got a visual upgrade. That's, uh, that's about it. It's great, though. Look at that shit. Look how clean that mother is. This man is an absolute unit. Dude's just strutting around like he owns the place. What a little gangster. But the thing that really sent the community for a loop wasn't the changes to the poultry. It was them adding Ancient to the active duty map pool. Now, for those who don't know, CSGO is kind of a singularity when it comes to map infrastructure. The majority of the game's most iconic and competitive battlegrounds are nearly 20 years old, and people have become extremely accustomed to playing on them. It's for that reason that the community tends to spend years begging people to ideate, create, and implement novel play places so as not to die of boredom, only to shit all over everything as soon as there's even the remote chance that they'll ever make it into the competitive map pool. Suffice it to say, both Valve and the community have developed a sort of weird, unhealthy relationship with injecting new life into the CSGO map pool, insofar as it never happens. Well, it does. It just occurs at a glacial pace. You know how in Lord of the Rings, it takes the Ents like a billion years to say anything in their native tongue? That's kind of what it's like when Valve has to decide whether or not they're going to make a change to the active duty map pool. I have told the other CSGO devs that Dust2 might be getting hopelessly stale. We have agreed. We're going to invert the B-site doors. Well, that's good news. Anyway, as for this change in particular, it's kind of a weird one. Why? Well, for starters, because of the map they opted to take out. Instead of saying see ya to Dust 2, which everyone seems to hate, Mirage, which is objectively the oldest and most solved map of the entire bunch, 
or what is undeniably the worst, most one-dimensional shit show in the whole of Counter-Strike, Inferno. I mean, uh, Vertigo. They said peace to train, which despite being extremely CT-sided, is one of the most intricate and entertaining maps in all of CS. Look, whatever your feelings on train may or may not be, I think we can all agree that it didn't need to go over, oh, I don't know, Mirage? The only upside is that now Liquid, who notoriously ban train every chance they get, can finally start winning again. But like, please, guys, right? Right? Where things get really interesting, though, is with respect to the map they replaced it with. Aztec. I mean, Ancient. Ancient is a Valve-created, Aztec-inspired, bomb defusal map that was first introduced in Operation Broken Fang a little over six months ago. It's big, beautiful, and, well, very green. So why is it surprising that Valve chose to include it? Well, in a sense, it isn't. Because they made it. In another sense, it is because there are other community sourced maps, such as Anubis, that have been play tested for much longer and felt a tad bit closer to being competitively viable. That's not to say there's anything overtly wrong with Ancient. In fact, a lot of pros seem to be taking a liking to it, but it definitely is in need of a little bit of tweaking, both in terms of layout, which is fine, that's the case with every map, and in terms of optimization. Remember when Cache got reworked and started causing all those FPS issues? Kind of the same thing with Ancient. Turns out being big, beautiful, and green isn't always a good thing. Don't believe me? Just ask a liege. I do think that Valve needs to work on the FPS optimization of the map. My computer's top of the line and still having a lot of FPS drops and getting under 200, 150. And if that's my case, I think that's gonna be hard for a lot of people. So I think they really need to work on that. There's also the issue of bugs to consider, but rest assured. As soon as the announcement went live, the best CSGO players in the world turned all their attention to unearthing every problem with Ancient imaginable, which of course is exactly what Valve wanted. Because as it turns out, the best way to turn a good map into a great one is to shove it into the active duty map pool first and ask questions later. Needless to say, if you want your game's savviest competitors to give a rat's ass about your map, you should probably stake their livelihoods on it. That may sound mean or rash or unreasonable, but I assure you, it is not. Counter-Strike needs to stay fresh if it's gonna stay relevant for the long haul. And in order to do that, it needs new maps, or better yet, it needs people to care about the existing maps that are just waiting for a shot at being competitively viable. The ones that countless creators are putting countless hours into only to have people play it one time and go, oh, this isn't as perfect as the other maps that have existed for longer than most of the player base has been alive? Guess I'm going back to Dust 2. Take Overpass, for instance. Introduced in 2013 as part of Operation Bravo, Overpass has spent eight years being transformed from a literal dumpster fire into what is quite possibly the single greatest map in the history of CSGO. So before you start shitting all over Ancient, take a second to think about what this spells for the future of Counter-Strike. A new map that wasn't a remake just took the spot of a 20-year-old masterpiece. Now, is that a sad thing? I love Train, and even I can admit, of course not. It's the start of something new. These may not be the maps you wanted to see juggled. Hell, they weren't the maps that I wanted to see juggled. But that doesn't matter. The point is that they were juggled. That's what Counter-Strike needs more of. That is what is going to keep Counter-Strike fresh for generations to come. Valve also decided to take their newly introduced statistics hub and take it to its logical con- I just repeated take twice. To its- Jesus. <laughs> Valve also opted to take their statistics hub to it- I'm gonna f***ing shoot myself on this line. I was doing so well, dude. And I'm whiffing shots on this easy f***ing frag. Why? Can't win every round. Can't win all of them, Devin. You know? Sometimes, you know, even simple whiffs a shot here and there. I'm not saying that I'm simple, Devin. I'm saying that Simple and I have never been seen in the same room together. 